Hello all, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evo Extreme here. Here we are on Monday the 8th of April 2024, and we've got 9 new and 12 update mods today. And yep, as always, timestamps will be down below. Let's start off with a couple of the updates. First of all, we've got the Best of It AG Retriever TMSLT, Change Dog 1.0.0.1, Corrected Collision Scaling Issues, and Corrected fuel capacities. Additional note head and four shorts are automatically changed when connected to the headers. Simply back up the trailer and connect in and activate the trigger. Tools will automatic swap over. So let's go and have a look at that. So, first of all, looking at the update for the fuel tank. So, yeah, standard is 200 litres, goes up to 400 litres, and the Unreal version is now 4,000 litres. So, now let's see how this chat attached to a header. So there we go, yeah, just backed up to the header. There is there's still going to be some little issues depending on what header you're using. Of course I'm using a modded header, but tested this with some normal headers from the base game and it works fine. And yeah, we've got our Titan Draper here and yeah, does of course work fine. And all we have to do now is, since I've got the simple version, what I have to do is just fold. Actually, to fold the car trailer, not the header itself. And yeah, that will fold up. And the only difference with the manual version is you do this manually rather than send it to automatic. But yeah, so that's a little quick update to the best way. Next, we've got an update to Mecklenburg Lake District update 1.4.0.0. Will require a new game save, and the gene jog is as following. Main yard, new green storage added, cow shed and pasture enlarged. Added pig farm perishable area via farmland. Added dairy farm perishable through farmland. Small BG added next to the main yard. All fences and gates to the farm runs under farm mid one. In order to be able to sell them. Added manure and manure purchased from livestock trading. Manure, manure can only be purchased with the shovel and the R key, so that's for PC. While dealing with consoles, it's got its own controls. The dealer has been revised. Decorative and vegetation has also been re revised. And lastly, the manure system is ready. By the manure system ready for PC only. And also, we've got a small update to Medvedin. Change Dog 2.0.0.1 will require a new game save for it to work properly. Remove grass from the road at field 42. For our new mods of today, we're starting off with the decorative construction trailer. This is by Leo.KLNZ. 0.74 megabytes of download, and it is, yep, yeah, a decorative construction trailer to decorate your farm, construction sites, or others. So, yeah, you'll find this under build mode, under decorations, and others. Yeah, 500 to place. Slot count is 2, goes down to 1. Daily upkeep of 5. And yeah, that is the uh, decorative construction trailer by Leo.KLNZ. Next, we've got the Cow Barn with Shed. This is by 750Ti Modding. 12.98 megabytes download. And yeah, it's an old style cow barn that can hold up to 30 cows. 40,000 to place. Daily upkeep of 30. So yeah, you can find this under build mode, under cows. So yeah, slot count is 20, goes down to 1. And it does say manure can only be removed from the side doors of the cow shed. In order to remove the manure, a loader shovel should be placed in the marked place. Note, manure can only be filled with a shovel, so... I am assuming... Yeah, either... No, yeah, it's got to be from there, right? Because... Or could it be filled... Ah, nope. Now this is it, yeah, so you'll get your shovel and that, so like a front loader, bucket, or even like the shovel, like an actual shovel by, who is it, A-Dub Modding, that's a nice shovel mod, so yeah, that's how your manure comes out. So yeah, feed capacity is 30,000, we do have straw, We've got 20,000 litres, got a bell here, does it accept bells? Yes it does. So yeah, maximum capacity of straw is 25,000 litres. 
This is going to be your story output. And this is going to be your milk output next to manure. Follow the box is here. Oh yeah, also do have a shoot. Also you got a little alcove up here. So you can sort of like bells up here if you wish. There's things like straw bells in that. If they're small enough, you can perhaps get some in here, but more likely than not, it's just purely a decorative item. Yep, pop through here. So yeah, let's go and fast forward and get some manure out. So yeah, there we go. We've got a little bit of manure out. So yeah, all you have to do is simply just go in here and then press L3 and then you can get your manure that way. But I do wonder, can we get manure from inside? Surely, is it possible? I oh, know, yes, you can. Yeah, I accidentally skipped ahead of time, so yeah, we're gonna get much manure on that from this, but yeah, skip till 3 o'clock, and this time I'll show you folks how to do it. So yeah, 3 o'clock, press L3 to fill, and there we go. So yeah, not this you're close enough to the trigger, so perhaps you can get away with a small trigger in that and use it that way. So, strictly speaking, you don't need to do it the hard way. It is quite tight, this shed, so just be careful of what you're using. But yeah. Anyway, so that is the Cow Barn with Shed by 750Ti Modding. Next, we've got the Lizard Grain Storage with Pig Food Mixer. This is by Mr. Hector. 56.13 megabytes of download. Slot count is 26, goes down to 2, I think. We'll have a look. Holds 1.7 milliliters. Oh yeah, this is by Mr. Hector, and this is from his Caparian country, so I've seen a lot more of his mods coming onto the mod hub recently, so I am glad about that. So yeah, first of all, you'll find this under build mode, under silos, and yeah, it's going to be the first one you may see. So yeah, 26 slots goes down to 2, holds 1.7 million litres. So yeah, this acts as a grain storage, so your normal screen grain storage. Or, it's got a function as a pig food mixer, so we've got some wheat here, and yeah. So if we go to our Productions tab, as you see, we've got recipes for two different recipes. So yeah, we either have like a corn and potato based, or a sorghum and sugar beet based. And yeah, in terms of capacities for the corn and sorghum, that is 20,000 litres. For your wheat and barley, it's 15,000 litres. For your canola or sunflower, it is 10,000 litres. And for your root crop, so you get your potatoes and sugar beet, that is 5,000 litres. 3,000 cycles per month, so that is a total of 60,000 litres you can have. So yeah, we go into here. So yeah, for your mixer net. All of it is going to go into here, so this is where you'll put your stuff for the pig food mixture. For the actual storage itself, input is here. Here, we also got spaces on the outside, which, yeah, outside of which we'll look at. Also, you do have options to turn lights on and off. So yeah, let's go and dump some of our wheat in here. There we go, so yeah, it's going to hold 1.7 in there, so it can hold, well, 1. Point, yeah, 1.6, no, 7. Just looking at my notes. But yeah, for your mixtures and that, all you have to do is simply back out close enough. Yep, yeah, unfold. So yeah, we, yeah, 50,000 years, as I mentioned. So yeah, one output is here. Let's turn that on and get some pig food. So yeah, that is one way to fill up. Now as we head out of here. So yeah, we've got a, another way of dumping. So we've got this area here. So yeah, let's go and unfold. And then, to fill up, we've also got this out here. There we go. Now for your pig food mixture, it will only come out of here, so 
Let's get this emptied and then we will see how much pig food we've got. So yeah, we've got 2,000 litres of pig food and if you want, you can set to distribute in so it will distribute to your any other buildings and that or if you've got a distributor that lets you put food into the animal pens but I'm not sure if you've got that mod on console but regardless, so yeah, pig food, 2,000 litres fill up and there we go also, you got some little shed areas out here, so you've got some lights for here, for the light to turn on and off. But yeah, so yeah, this is the Lizard Grain Storage by, oh no, sorry, Lizard Grain Storage and Pig Food Mixture by Mr. Hector. And yeah, this is part of his, what was it, yeah, Comparing Countryside. So yeah, we're going to see more and more of his mods, I am sure, coming on to the mod hub soon. But yeah, so that is the green storage and pig food mixture. Next, moving on to our equipment, we got the JCB Q Fit Pallet Forks. This is by JGW Modding. 0.51 megabytes of downloads, and yeah, simple pallet fork in that. That's got a dynamic free moving carriage. Costs 1500. Slot count is 1, goes down to 2. Oh, sorry. 1 goes down to 1, not, not up. But anyways, you can find this under Tech Android Tools. Go towards the end. Ah yeah, simply it's a pallet fork and that. Nothing more, nothing less. So you've got some options, you've got standard or fork extension. So if you want to do like two or three pallets to pick up at a time. But yeah, I think more with the extensions would be like two pallets you could lift at a time. But yeah, since this is a GCB, we got a GCB here, so Turns with options, oh, extend, link faces like that. So, so yeah, nothing special there. So just get it aligned. Not really a big fan of power work, but yeah. So there we go. Nothing. Yes, <laughs> simply put, nothing much or more to see. There we go. Sell the popular. Right, let's just put it in storage instead. There we go. But yeah, so there's no color options or anything like that. But anyway, so that is the JCB QFIT Pad 4 DW modding. Next, we've got the self made excavator bucket by Carl TG. 1.17 megabytes to download. Slot count is 2 goes down to 1. And yeah, it says it's forestry equipment on the mod hub. But actually, you'll find it's under tools and miscellaneous. So yeah, 4,000. Can pretty much carry anything. Yeah, pretty much everything we've got available. So yeah, we've got a normal capacity of 3,300 litres. A slightly modified 4,500 litre capacity. And a unrealistic 20,000 year capacity and back down to normal. No color options, so yeah, you need a excavator, and we've got tons of excavator mods. I'm using the Volvo as part of the Platinum expansion. And yeah, I will note I am not good with excavator, so I will get these controls mixed up. But yeah, there's no like, unique options or anything like that for the bucket. So yeah, I want to extend you out, like so. Oh yeah, I think I've got the 20,000 year version here, so... Like so. There we go. Now let's pick up some chaff. There we go. Yeah, you can see... Yeah. 20,000 years. Oh, yeah, we've got 9,000 years of chaff. Whatever, don't care. Like so. But yeah, of course, I'm not really good at demonstrating this, but you can have so much usage for this, and if, unlike me, you actually are capable of using some of these excavator tools we've been having on Mod Hub. Yeah, I am not one of those. But yeah, so, anyways. That is the self-made excavator bucket by Carl-TG. Next, 
we've got the Lizard LT pack. This is by John GM. 3.47 megabytes to download. Slot count is two. And yeah, this is a so yeah, we've got a leather here. But also this can be used as a plow, depending on which one you're going for. So yeah, for the plow itself, you'll find this under tools and miscellaneous. And yeah, so decals, yes or no. Chassis colour, yes or no, got different colour options. Got blue, yellow, red, grey or black. And for the leveler, go to levelers, there we go. Decals, yes or no, colour options, exactly the same. So yeah, 7,500 to buy. 60 horsepower requirement. So yeah, we've got the leveler here. So let's go and hold you don't have anything inside at the moment. But yeah, we've got an option to fold or unfold. So yeah, if you fold it, it goes like that. Unfold it goes like so. Can rotate it, slide it left to right. There we go. And of course you can pivot on the angle you exactly want. But yeah, let's go and lure this. And yeah, just gently smooth out. I should say, overall, it's actually quite a horsepower now. Yeah, ain't gonna have no issues to level out anything. Not too shabby. And now for the plow. So there we go, we've got the plow version and sort of in the way similar as before. So R1, left. Right stick, right or left, can extend it out. You can pivot up now if you wish. L1, R1, nothing. But yeah, let's go and lower the blade. And yeah, there we go. So we are creating fields. I think it does leave stones, and I just don't have it on. But yeah, can see it's a bit weird, so maybe. Yeah, feet. yeah, don't really mess around with it too much. There we go, that looks actually better now. Of course, yeah, got an option to create fills if you wish. So yeah, in a way, something a little bit different. We'd love to have it, both these as an option together, but I'm guessing that will cause some issues. And yeah, will this work backwards? Yes, it will, so that's probably why can have it as the same option, so you can have a wrist plow or a leveler. But yeah, overall not too bad, so yeah, you can actually yeah, just work it forwards, backwards, does not matter. But yeah, so that is the Lizard LT pack by John GM. Next, we've got the Amazon ZATS 4200, it's by Sim6 Max, 6.03 megabytes to download, 6 slots for a console. And essentially what this is, is exactly the same as what we've got base game. However, it is slightly bigger and slightly faster. So, the ZATS 3200. Uh, 3200 3, litre capacity. 11 metres, or 11 miles an hour working speed. Compared to the 4200. An extra 1000 litres. And 2 miles an hour faster. So yeah, it's just a upgraded version so yeah six slots go down to one decals got old new or back to old worn sides no or yes so yeah, it just adds little bits to the side side marks standard uh, the back to standard so yeah that is just oh yeah just a little lighting there so nothing too major, but yeah, 45,100. Actually, that is all right, slightly more expensive 45,1 versus 25 grand, but overall, not too bad. I think, yeah, for the price, that is worth it. Has something an extra thousand capacity, and yep, can do it even slightly faster. I'd be willing to pay that extra 20 grand, but yeah, got our field here. Just put a bit of application of fertilizer down. Consumption ain't too bad. 
roughly about. Oh yeah, overall, besides from that, not too shabby. So yeah, that is the Amazon ZATS 4200 by 76 Max. Next, we've got the CST 1550 service. It's by Gia Mods. Slot count is 12 goes down to 1. And essentially, this is a semi trailer that can use to transport your crops with the option of a auger wagon. Or with an auger wagon, should I say. But yeah, so it is 114 grand. But yeah, you'll find this under tools and auger wagons. And one thing I will say this is exactly the same as the base game version we've got. But smaller. So yeah, if we have a look. Sort of see some variations. So that is the base game. And if you look at this one here, yeah, so the difference is pretty much exactly the same. Store capacity 43 goes down to 29,200 years. But you do have a platform, so if you want to place pallets on that, there you go. So room colors, we got various of whites, grays, and chromes, and a black. So yeah, where you've lost, you do have tension belt support, so not too shabby. See, so yeah, I'm guessing this will have some form of purpose. But anyway, so let's get this hooked up. Get our Volvo. There we go. So yeah, if you're not aware of these, these are very the same old trader with four separate compartments. Of course I filled up with three slots and one slot of wheat. But yeah, so pipe out. Go to the back. So yeah, R1, right stick, up and down. Raise and lower that. L1, R1 does nothing. L1, right stick, left to right. Does that. Do you have an option to unfold or unload here? There we go. So you can see that empty from the first compartment. And yeah, all we have to do now is... There we go, stop that. So yeah, we go to L1, down, so that's pipe 2, pipe 3, pipe 4, and then pipe in. So yeah, each compartment holds 7,300 litres, so... If you've got a small field in that, then yeah, a small field, so you've got like wheat barring that. Load these all up and then transport them as you wish. But yeah, in terms with what it can hold, it can only hold seeds, fertilizer, and your basic crops, so not a multi fruit option. But regardless, that is the CST 1550 service by GL Mods. Next. For our final mod of today, we got the Valentini Mumat series. This is by SMI Modding Team. 34.1 megabytes to download, 16 slots for console. And yeah, essentially, this is a big sized power harrow. It does require 300 or 350 horsepower. Working width is 7 or 8 meters. But yeah, you'll find this under tools and power harrows. Go towards the end, so yeah, got a 7,000 or 8,000. So 7 meters or 8 meters work, working width. Working speed is 5 miles an hour. 16 slots goes down to 1. Yeah, in terms with options, so we've got a cage roller or a packer roller. And then also we've got a track braking system, so we've got no or yes. So yeah, it just shows a little bit there. In silver, you can sort of see. There you can see that a lot better there. But yeah, anyway, so we've got our John Deere here. But anyway, who will just go and back it up? Get this aligned. So yeah, got an option to fold or unfold. Love the animation that. Of how it also goes up slightly differently. So it unfolds. So yeah, it 
folds and unfolds at different speeds. Like that, it's not just, you know, all exactly the same. Obviously you got lower. And then L1 and right stick. Raise front loader torso. All that does is the Ah, that's the packer roller there, so obviously you got your power harrow, so let's turn that on. Just double checking any other options, but yeah. See so yeah, we're power harrowing. But then if we say raise our front loader tool. So create more of a roll texture. I'm not sure how we tell the difference there. No, I don't think it does anything different phys well, visually wise, but that would be something you would have is you would power harrow and then have something behind it to roll to see bed, so let's go and have a look here. Is there any differences in textures out on the ground? No, so it's all stubble tillage. Yeah, because obviously I have a monster or anything. But yeah, overall, not too bad. And yeah, it's one of those things, we don't really see many power harrow mods nowadays. Yes, I know they're not the most popular. Personally, I don't really use them much myself, but... Preferences, but... Always appreciate extra mods supporting categories that aren't often supported. Like the power harrows and that. But anyway, so that is the... Valentina Moon Mat series by SMI Modding Team. And that's where we come to the end of our mods for today, so yeah. Very short mod review, Nat, hopefully. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this mod review. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is before my Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.